Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Recipe Roulette, a cooking show where we... Well, usually we choose a recipe at random from one of our cooking books, but tonight is a special. We have had a special request actually from uh, my stepfather, and so we're making tonight... Yorkshire pudding! And we're actually doing a twist on it because, as the saying goes, you, how can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? We're gonna do it as a vegetarian, meatless. So I figured out how to do this. And we're gonna let you know if this is actually an option to have a very nice traditional family favorite uh, recipe without having any meat. So, yeah, let's look at the ingredients. All right, let's look at the ingredients. To make our vegetarian Yorkshire pudding, you're gonna need one cup of flour, one cup of milk, three tablespoons of Bragg's amino acids, and we're gonna make that into a full even quarter cup by topping the rest of the quarter cup off with olive oil. And then to make this, it's gonna be quite simple. Take it, take my liquid ingredients, add them into the bowl, and then I'm going to hit this with the hand mixer until it's nice and smooth. And to save your eardrums, I'm going to cut that out now. All right, I've got my nine by nine pan here. It's been coated with olive oil and heated up in the oven. And I'm just pouring my Yorkshire putter, pudding batter into this. Give a good shake to get all that battery goodness out of there. Try to get my arm out of the shot for you. Alright, let's grab a spoon, scrape the bowl down. Seriously, smoky pancake guys. Alright. And then around so we don't get the handle of our pot holder in. Pop that down in the oven. And that's gonna cook at 425 for 20 minutes. So while I'm done with that, Laura is going to show you how to make what we're going to have with this tonight. To go with the Yorkshire pudding, I'm making a butternut bisque. It is from Simply and Season Cookbook, put together by Mary Beth Lynn and Kathleen Hockman Wirtz. And it's actually one of my favorite soups. So the ingredients, I've got about two cups of chopped up and cooked butternut squash. And I just want to say, as a little note on this, butternut squash will take longer to cut up than you think. So plan ahead for that. I've got a full cup of yogurt. A diced onion. A diced carrot. And we're going to need three cups of veggie broth. And we're using our homemade broth for that. And two tablespoons of maple syrup. It's right here. It's, I don't want to move it and have it spill everywhere, but it's there. And then you can season it with salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder. So. Let's get this put together. I'm going to start with the onion and the carrots into our soup pot. Onion and 
it didn't get put in there. And I'm going to cook them with some avocado oil, about five minutes. All right, so we'll come back in five minutes when these are ready for the next stop. So my carrots and onions have been cooking. I'm going to add my soup stock. And then cover and it's going to simmer for 10 minutes. Oops, not cook. Timer. 10 minutes. So again, we'll see you back. So my timer went off and I'm going to add all my ingredients into my pot. My cooked squash. Yogurt, all that yogurt in. Of course, it's what's going to make it creamy. Maple syrup. Fortunately, this is not the nice maple syrup from Maine. We have to get some more of that once you know it's maple syrup season again. And I'm going to add a little cumin. Careful with my cumin. There's no lid on it. No, I didn't say cumin originally, but I really love cumin. And so that's all I'm going to start with because the human homemade soup stock is already pretty well seasoned, so I'm going to see it and go from there. So I'm going to put all of this together with my immersion blender. So we'll save your earbuds. And we'll be back for the first bite. Alright. The first bite of Yorkshire pudding. Smoky pancake. Mmm. Yep. Smoky pancake. I actually like that. It's really cool. First time having Yorkshire pudding for me. Mmm. All right. Let's try the let's try the soup. Butternut squash bisque. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. With the cumin you put in there, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. It was like what, like two tablespoons? At least. Yeah. So we ended up using a fair amount of cumin salt, pepper, no garlic because our soup stock had enough garlic peelings in it to give it a nice flavor there. So yeah, yeah, turned out good all around. Awesome all around. Uh, do we have a cookbook for next week? We should do that. <laughs> so we got um, this innocent smoothie recipe book I actually picked this up from a little free library the other day. We love our little free libraries. So, oh, this is all about the innocent foundation. Has no recipes. Let's try again. Stop. Juices, blank page. All right, go to the next page. Okay. 
orange, mango, and lime juice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got a mango, three oranges, and a wedge of lime. So next week, fresh juice. I guess we got another brunch recipe. Another brunch recipe? Sounds great. Okay. Join us for juice next time on Recipe Roulette. See you then. Peace.